What is a numbering system? It is a system that assigns each number a single representation. It reflects the arithmetic structures of numbers. That is, they are symbols and rules that organize properties and structure numbers for standardized use. Systems make arithmetic operations easier or harder depending on the structure of the system. There are several numbering systems, including the Mayans, Greeks, Romans, Egyptians, Hindus, binary, among others. Let's look at some systems and their particularities. Some historians attribute this system to the Mesopotamian region, rather than a single people. Sumerians, Babylonians, Assyrians, among others live. The word Mesopotamia means between rivers, because this region is between the Euphrates and Tigris rivers. Today it is the region where Iraq is located. This system was based 60. Its number representation had this spelling where this sign represented the number 1. Two representations of the same figure represented the number 2 and so on. In the tenth figure, an inclined symbol appeared in the sequence started again until the number 59. The spelling of the number 60 was the same as the number 1. This could cause a lot of confusion. When this symbol appeared alone, it could represent either the number 1 or the number 60. Drawing the number 1 twice could represent the number 2 or else the number 61. What differentiates is the distance between the symbols. We still use this system when talking about hours or degrees. 60 seconds equals 1 minute. 60 minutes makes 1 hour. This system was easy. It has more natural divisors than the decimal system. In addition to 1 and 10 itself, 10 can be divided into two groups of 5 or 5 groups of two equal parts. While 60 can be divided into two groups of 30 elements, three groups of 20 elements, four groups of 15 elements, five groups of 12 elements, six groups of 10 elements, 10 groups of six elements, 12 groups of five equal parts, 15 groups with four parts, 20 groups in three elements, 30 groups with two equal parts. In addition to one itself and 60, there are natural divisors. Already the Maya system, the Maya are people who lived in Central America, where today is the territory of Mexico. It was a base 20 system. The zero was represented by what some historians believe to be a shell. The number one by a dot. The number two by two dots. The five was represented by a horizontal bar. The six had a dot above the horizontal bar and the ten was represented by two bars. While reaching the twentieth symbol, it represented a dot above the shell. Twenty-one by one point above and one point below. The twenty-two by one point above and two points below and so on. The Egyptian numbering system was represented by the symbols of a stick to represent the quantity 1. A heel bone represents 10. The quantity 100 was represented by a coiled rope. The lotus flower represents the number 1000. 10,000 was a slightly curved finger. To represent 100,000 was represented by a tadpole or in other scriptures, the image of a fish is found. And 1 million was represented by a kneeling slave revering a lighthouse. The Egyptian system was not positional, so we could write the quantity 32 in a variety of ways. Just join three heels and two poles or two poles and three heels. Or any other order containing these same representations would represent the number 32 anyway. This made calculations very difficult. The Roman people were one of the peoples that contributed least to the advancement of mathematics. But even so, we still have the influence of his system to this day. His system was positional and used letters from the Roman alphabet to express quantities. See how we write the number 4 and the number 6. The number 4 was made up of 5 minus 1. Subtract the smallest number on the left from the largest number on the right. 5 minus 1 equals 4. The number 6 was made up of 5 plus 1. Adds the smaller number that is to the right of the larger number. 5 plus 1 equals 6. The number 9 was made up of 10 minus 1. Subtract the smaller number to the left of the larger number. The number 11 was made up of 10 plus 1. Add the smaller number 1 to the right of the larger number. 10 forming 11. Even today we use Roman numerals in some models of watches and it is also the most used way to indicate centuries. The system known as the decimal system or Arabic system was largely developed by the Hindus, including the creation of the zero symbol, which did not exist. The Arabs were responsible for spreading it around the world. It's a fantastic system that changed the way it was represented until it reached the form we know today. It is represented by 10 symbols 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 0 that can compose any number. It is a decimal, positional system where each number has an absolute value and also a value relative to its position. For example, the number 8 could be 8 ones or it could be 8 tens, which is the same as 80. 
or it could still be worth 800, which is the same as 800. This helps a lot in arithmetic operations. With that, changing only the position number 8, we can obtain the representation of a completely different quantity. Each number on the left is worth 10 times as much as the number on the right. In this example, we see the number 8 is worth 8 units to compose the number 358. In another example, it is worth 8 tens, which is the same as 80 units. Just shifting the tens column, turning the number 358 into 385, it might be worth 8 hundreds, which is the same as 800 units. Transforming the value from 385 to 835 units, it really is a fantastic system, a very big facility. That's why it is the system adopted all over the world and most used by all mankind.